you we, we may get one client in one day and it'll be a couple months before we get another person housed so being able to get you know 35 you know of our clients in in one day is like it's an amazing feeling like all that it's like overwhelming almost how cool this is we've seen these people out here for years and years and uh you know this is this could be the first day of the rest of their life you know of, of starting over and doing something different and it, it's, it's just really cool to see all these people and all this work in one day and yeah, it's a really nice feeling to see these people getting inside. Hey, good morning. How are you doing, Kelly? Good, you. Today's the big day. Good to see you. <laughs> Signal Hill is the only person that's done anything, and I've been, I've been homeless since on the street day and night since 2016. And it's, it, it's tiring. You know, I have a hernia and moving stuff back and forth, back and forth, it's just, it's too much, you know. Not, all, not everybody out here is a drug addict, not everybody out here has got mental issues. Some of us just had life show up, you know. It, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy at all. Not fun by any means. Monkey monk. You know, these people have a lot of history out here. Some of them have been out here a long time. Uh, you know, they may have been promised other resources and been let down. Uh, so yeah, it's just being consistent, coming out, you know, every week, um, you know, just starting with, you know, getting their story, sharing some of your story with them, and, uh, you know, over time you just get to know these people and they become more like friends than clients. The goal of Pathway Home Signal Hill is functional zero homelessness. So that is a, a historic moment for the city. Uh, so incredibly grateful, again, for the opportunity to have all of our homeless individuals at this point in time be moved indoors to this long-term program that will transform their lives and they will be on a path to permanent housing, get to a place they call home. Just, it's just such a heartwarming moment. We have the opportunity today for the city of Signal Hill, which has a population of people experiencing homelessness less than 30. We have more rooms than that. And so today we'll actually get to experience functional zero for the first time within a city. Uh, within Los Angeles County, which is super, super exciting. Definitely something we want to see if we can replicate this with other smaller cities within the city, within the county of Los Angeles. When the new house, ready? One, two, three. Three. Oh, but you get out, Mom, what is it? That's your new house, Mom, that's your new house. Come on, come on, Mom. You guys are, it's an amazing organization. It, it truly is. If you have people like Travis that, that are friendly enough to where you can connect with them and you open up and be honest you know, and realize that not everybody's out there to get you. you know, but being homeless and being stereotyped with the way we are, uh, most of us just want to be left alone. And it's hard, most of us run from, like you said, run from the services. And um, it's, it's, not, it's not okay, you know. We're not subhuman, we're just like everybody else. Moms, kids, you know. Well, this is the second round that um, Pat has had the honor to help with. It's honestly very heartwarming and it's, it's an unexplainable feeling. It's like if you see your child grow <laughs> into success, right? Um, I know their journey has been long before we even met them sometimes. Sometimes they're in and out of the experiencing homelessness, so for them to finally have a room, to finally have a bed and a shower, and just seeing them express gratitude for the simple things that we might take as for granted, it's unexplainable and just very fulfilling. I feel great. It's, it's good. It's a relief to not have to worry about moving back and forth, back and forth. Huh. You know, I usually don't tell my story because today's about the clients, but I was homeless myself for 14 years. And, uh, you know, I had a social worker help me get off the streets, and that's what made me want to do this work. So, I mean, days like this are, are what I do this job for, you know, and uh, it's almost overwhelming, you know, so many emotions and, you know, uh, you know, I can relate with the clients and, you know, hopefully this changes their life.